the north. Uh -huh. Usually it was like an old salt storage. Uh, I won't recommend it, but if you lick the walls when you're into the restaurant, you can actually taste salt because it was filled up with salt. So the ships would come in and, and sort of... Um, you can lick the walls and they taste like salt. But... About here. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be the food, I mean, just whatever something you like. I actually, I'm, I'm the front of house uh, and I really, really appreciate the fact that we can actually be ourselves. It's it's quite down to earth, the, the way we, we do things. Literally. Well. Like this is earth right here. <laughs> this is, this is new, all earth? This is our new uh, garden. It's it's lovely, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's our new uh, garden. Are these ransoms? No. Um, I mean, is there anything that we're going to be eating later today? Not, not today, unfortunately. Not. There is just stuff. <laughs> Do you forage? Have you foraged before? <laughs> I, have, I have. But it's also, it's always with the crazy chefs, you know. And they're That's way, they're way, way more into it. I'm just like walking around picking poisonous things that I don't know how to eat. And they, you know, the chefs know what to do. So. so you said these are gardens. That so one day you'll be foraging from these gardens. Nah, nah we, we wouldn't. But, but the thing is, we built it last summer, and was it was a lot of dirt simply, and we didn't really plant anything because the idea is to have like a normal. Uh, authentic landscape. Yes, exactly. So, so in time, all of the things just came. And so I'm actually doing an, a sort of education at the restaurant. At the okay. Center. Yeah, you can say so. And and Wait, I they do internships at Noma. That's cool. Yes, we're probably half of the staff is is volunteering. That's oh, really cool. Getting your uh, resume. I mean, nice. That's impressive. Let's uh, let's get you in. You look Thanks. hungry, guys. So, yeah. Thanks for letting me film you, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for letting you're us welcome. take So you're going to have a few different things on the table at once. But then afterwards, for the second part of the menu, we have some more substantial plates. But it will be around 20 servings in total. So I hope you're hungry. Yes! Salted red currant with lavender? Called Nordic coconut. So it's slightly coconut. Yeah. So we fill it with the capuchus and the convince oil. So you can drink it just like like a coconut, basically. Okay. And enjoy when it's still warm. Oh, okay. thank you. What did they fill it with? Oh, that's awesome. So guys, the next serving that is being placed on the table here is moss. This is reindeer moss. It comes from northern Sweden. We fry it until it's crispy, season it with a sep mushroom powder, and serve it with a juniper infused creme fraiche. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, so that's how do you fresh. eat this? The you idea is to take these crispy bits that are on top of you. just eat it like first. <laughs> yeah, just pick them up and then dip them right in the crumb fresh or take a knife and spoon or uh, yeah. spread yeah. them yeah. on the uh, moss. Yeah, that's it. So you just. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks it? good, actually. Hey, mate, but now that you're really surprised, <laughs> it's kind of. Uh, okay. No, we have, we have some quite legs. We cooked them, we smoked them, we pickled them, and we smoked them again. So we smoked them two times. Oh, wow. They cook quite gently. I can smell, yeah. They cook quite gently, uh, so I suggest you eat it with one bite, please. They've been smoked with hay and pickled with some apple vinegar. And what's next? Where they again? Quail. 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 Nice. Nice. Ready? 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 One, two, three. Our liver that's been shaved over on the milk toast. The season was a uh, kelp salt, so just make sure you eat it quickly because the liver will melt. The liver will melt. <laughs> So, so how's the how's the cut? Some of you like it? I like it. I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> it how lovely. can it melt? That's fascinating to me. That that can even happen. Well, we um freeze it and then we slice it like very thinly, uh, okay. so it kind of melts in your mouth. But it's definitely one of those that like spits the water. Somebody loves it. Somebody yeah, like, hates it. Like <laughs> if you like, to be honest, I was I hear one of those who didn't really enjoy it as much. The sea urchin. It's grilled toast, and then on very top, we have here with duck skin. Just fresh, straight from the sea. Yeah, you do. That's a few of our chefs often go up to visit a lot of our different suppliers. And recently, they went to Norway, which we get a lot of sea urchins from. And then you, you're like knee deep in the water, you pluck sea urchins and eat them straight from the shell. And it's that yeah. buttery. Really. Because yeah. we do get them delivered, you know, sometimes even twice a day. They're flying in from Faroe Islands wow. in Norway, coming in in the afternoon, and then we'll prepare them ready for dinner. So. The restaurant is based on... So it was cool that the sea urchins were in their nat it was in the natural taste, the natural flavor. And instead of marinating it in a different sauce, they just chose to put it in, put it in brine, a brine bath to, take, to make it taste like it, it is originally. Coming straight from the ocean. <laughs> Piece of the tree in there. This is the birch. This is birch water, and part of the birch tree came in the water, apparently. You know. The only downside to that is I can't do that when they're. The only thing is they 
So this is actually just a little something as we transition into the next part of the menu. And what we have is the late harvest apple. So usually they can be quite interesting in texture, a little flowery, but what we do, we cook them for many, many hours at a very low temperature. So you get this real softness back to the apple. On top you have the young shoots from the black currant and a little salt from kelp, the seaweed. So you have your wooden spoon. The idea is you just eat the apple straight from the ice. It should just almost scoop out like a soft custard. <laughs> Wow. Oh, TJ. Possible. It's like a marriage. Yes. Oh, That's amazing. No, the, I call the big one. The sea urchins is actually <laughs> we get uh, this one. hand dyed by a good friend of us who's called Roderick Sloan. He's from uh, Norway. But this time of year, and a few months back, he actually basically walks into the freezing ocean and picks them by hand and, oh, and ships them there. Freezing. Picks uh, them by hand. Well, this here is uh, a grilled leek. It's quite simple. You take one each onto your plate. We have made a small cut right here in the center, so open it uh, very gently. And we just gave you a spoon, so there's like five pieces in the center, which you should sort of scoop out. Yeah. So don't eat the outside. So, so it's only the vegetable. The only the inside. Yes. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. What? We have is uh, shrimp. Oh, yeah. Wrapped in a leaf. Ramson. Yeah. Wild garlic. Yeah. In broth made from toasted yeast and rhubarb root oil. Oh, toasted geese. And then we have all the first of uh, the edible flowers that we're able to gather outside. Oh, yeah. Where? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, blueberries. Blueberries. Oh, oh, so, so. So it's uh, a. You guessed it. Fresh milk curd. What? Fresh milk curd. It's milk that is uh, lightly set. I cook it at 34 degrees for quite a long time. It's uh, at the early stage of being a cheese, basically. So it's made every morning. Uh, quite soft, covered up a syrup of wild blueberries from Sweden. The sauce is blueberry juice with pine oil, and on top is a powder made with the seeds of nasturtiums and lemon tartings. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, once again, I did it so cool. Oh, it's tata. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah, indeed. <laughs> it's it's tata. Really? Tata. Yes, yes, that is tata. Beef tata. On toast? Well, yeah. It's not quite a small broth, but uh. So, what we have is the aged Danish beef. It's the tenderloin, but we actually scrape from the tenderloin with the knife to still have a nice texture to the beef. It's not too fine. Oh, that looks good, too. <laughs> but then on top, we season the beef tata with the salt of ants, the wood ants. This is the only acidity in the dish, so you will get these little like pops of lemon and lime. It's coming just from the ants. There's no other citrus in the dish at all. It's coming by far the best. So the natural formic acid that the ants have. We use these because, of course, in Scandinavia you don't get a lot of these citrus, lemon, and lime flavors. But here with the ants, we find we can use something that is local. Where we're able to get these. Local, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, all in the forest, just north of the city. So. Mm. Yes, so all of the spring greens we have for you here. Serving it with a soft cooked hen's egg, being lightly smoked, and a broth here of ramson or the wild garlic. Wow. And for one, so we roast them in the oven for three hours, turning them every 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. So that all of the juice stays in the center of the beet, but the outside becomes a little like soft leather. That's what's sitting on top. Wow. Underneath is some preserved plums. And on top we have some aromatic seeds and spices, including angelica and nasturtium seeds, the crown dill seeds, and then these little unripe berries as well. The broth is made from fennel juice and rose oil. Ooh. <laughs> and what was the celery? Yeah, root celery, which we cook in a pan as you would cook a piece of meat or a piece of fish. Yeah. Yes, they're the same kind of style. So you have a hot pan, you caramelize it all throughout, you toss some butter, so it starts to foam, you paste it with foaming butter and fresh herbs. So it kind of cooks throughout. First it goes crispy and caramelized, and after a while it goes kind of leathery and caramelized when it's steamed from inside out. We serve that with some cabbage and nasturtium, broth made from nasturtium and anise, and a cream made from horse radish. Warmer experience than the jewels And the jewels and then for you guys, we have the wild duck from Sweden, uh, grilled on the barbecue over juniper wood. On the bottom of the plate, you have a puree of roasted kale and a pear that's been polished for around 12 hours. And then on top, some slices of fresh pear 
and crispy peach leaves. So with this one, you just have to be careful that as it is wild duck, it has been shot. And you have to look out in case there's any small carrots left in there. I'm not joking, so... <laughs> 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 no, there really are pieces, look. <laughs> of what? Great tender. I, I call that a souvenir. It's persistence never gives up. This is a buckthorn, sea buckthorn juice. Never give up, never give up. It's mixed with some juniper, but the buckthorn berry has okay, what's the probably the most vitamin C in, in any hey, berry or any one thing on planet Earth, as far as I've heard, right? And there's 25 of those berries juice in this, right? so pretty much I never need to have vitamin C tablet again after this. Uh, sorry, you guys, aronia berry. Aronia is a very Scandinavian berry. It looks like a blueberry. It's a bit bigger. It grows on a tree. It has a very shiny surface, and it's very tart by flavor. Uh, we do this ice gel from, from aronia berry. We fill that with ice cream made from Icelandic seaweed called sol. Red seaweed. We dry aged that for a year before we make the ice cream from it. Uh, a pour of some aronia berry juice on the plate as well. Yes. So aronia and seaweed. Yeah. So what we have for you is a dessert of potato and plum. Potatoes and plum? Yeah, so in the middle is a potato puree, which we sweeten by cooking down the skins of the potato. Naturally, they have a lot of starch and sugar, so that's what sweetens the puree. Ooh. And then we have a compote of plum, and here a little bit of the plum juice as well. And then there is a cream, but we take the stone of the plum, we crack that open, and inside is a very small kernel. It has this natural flavor of almond or marzipan. So we let that infuse into the cream as well. Oh. Inside the plum we have the stone, then we crack open the stone of the plum, but you have to do it gently so that you don't smash the kernel. So we have to crack it with a little meat mallet, and then inside it looks like a little baby almond, this tiny white kernel, it's quite soft. So then we have to peel away the cracked stone to reveal this tiny little kernel. But we need around 150 kernels for each shift of cream so it takes a lot of work and what's a shift of cream for, so for lunch like uh, and then shift. we need another 150 for dinner to soak again really so you shouldn't wait too long before you eat it the white is the uh, Icelandic yogurt it's called skin with some sea buckthorn it's the same buckthorn that you have for your dessert the juice so if you want to mix the skin and the buckthorn put it on the yeast and then you can season with some elderflower salt so there's two big pieces. The idea is you're going to break them and share them. And this is indeed Flesca's Bear, or crispy pork. Oh. Oh. On top, it's brushed with milk chocolate and then dried black carrots and heat roast. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it goes everywhere. All the blueberries roll around. <laughs>